Hi, I'm Robert Coleman. I'm a Senior Applications Manager at Texas Instruments. Welcome to Power Tips. Welcome to Power Tip 17. In this Power Tip, we're going to take a look at snubbing the flyback converter. Here's a simplified schematic of a flyback converter. The power supply operates with a coupled inductor transformer. It operates by turning the power fit on in the primary. It builds up energy in the transformer inductance, and then the power fit turns off. The voltage on the fit rises, and as it rises, it rises on the secondary also. And it gets to the point that the voltage on the transformer equals to the output voltage, and then the diode starts to conduct in the secondary. It's a little more complicated than that because the transformer has some leakage inductance. If you look down here at this waveform, this is what you would see on the drain of the MOSFET. Without that leakage inductance, you don't get this voltage spike on the front end of the waveform. It would be equal to this voltage here. This is the reflected secondary voltage through the turns ratio of the transformer. That's how much voltage that you get on the drain of the MOSFET when it turns off. And then with the leakage inductance, you get some additional rain. And that sets the voltage rating requirements on the MOSFET and eventually sets the dissipation in the MOSFET because the voltage rating is going to set the on resistance of the MOSFET. So this is a uh, simplified schematic of the primary of the power transformer during the on time. Current builds in the mutual inductance of the transformer and builds in the leakage inductance of the transformer. And then the MOSFET turns off. And what I've shown over here is I've shown the diode on the output of the power supply reflected through the transformer inductance. And then I've also shown the diode that's in the clamp circuit. And so what happens when the transistor turns on, the voltage goes up to the point that the diodes start conducting. D1 will discharge the leakage inductance and D2 will eventually discharge the magnetizing inductance. But what happens when it first turns on, there's a fixed amount of current in, in these inductors, and that current can't change instantaneously. So that means that the whole magnetizing in inductance current is flowing through this path. And so you'll develop a voltage across that inductance that's set by the difference between the reset voltage and the clamp voltage, and that's what discharges the leakage inductance. And so you can see this is what I've shown here on this curve is the current in D1, and this is the, the discharge current. And then down here on this second little line is the current in D2. And if it was an ideal circuit, the current would instantaneously transfer over to D2, and it, it would discharge like this. However, there's current flow in the leaky that diverts current from D2. And so the waveform in D2 has this um, slope to it. It's not an instantaneous rise. It, it takes a while to build up the current in the inductor because you're discharging current in, in the other inductor. So the efficiency of the power supply is impacted by how quickly you discharge that inductor. If you have a high clamp voltage, you'll have a, a fast discharge and it'll save you energy because you're not diverting some of the transformer energy in, into the snubber. And so what I've done here on this chart is I've shown the, the trade-off in the snubber losses versus how high you let the drain voltage fly on the FET. Uh, for instance, if you allowed the drain voltage to go three times above the reset voltage, your impact on the leakage loss is pretty low. But as you reduce that voltage on the drain of the MOSFET, you increase your circuit losses because you're diverting power from the output. So this is a trade-off to keep in mind that next time you're uh, experimenting with the dissipation in your snubber resistor, be mindful that the lower voltage that you make the clamp, uh, the more dissipation you're going to have. Again, thank you for your attention on this power tip. Uh, there are more power tips if you go to Power Management Design Line and search for power tips, or you can click on the link to all articles in the description section of this video. Thank you.